Switches provide a means where a sound played for a particular event will be based on the status of some other input from the game. For example, as a player walks through the world, a footstep call will likely be used to trigger the sound of a footstep, but another call will be used to communicate what surface the player is on for the purpose of choosing the appropriate type of footstep sound. To explore how this works, we already have a project set up with a player footstep event, and then two random containers, one with the sounds of footsteps on concrete, and the other on gravel. We'll explore how to use switching to automatically select the appropriate sound that matches the material the player's character is walking on. We'll first need to create a switch group object. Switch groups are very much like event objects as they provide a receptor for information that will be received from the game. Go to the Game Syncs tab within the Project Explorer. Click the default work unit beneath the Switches folder and then click the Create New Switch Group icon. A switch group object is created, and for the integration with the Cube Demo game, its name must match the name of the corresponding call being sent from the game engine. In this case, Material. Now that we have a switch group for material, we need to identify the various possibilities such as concrete, gravel, and dirt that are to be associated with the switch group. Each option needs to be represented by a switch object contained within the switch group. With the material switch group selected, click the Create New Switch icon and create a new object for concrete, dirt, and gravel. As with the switch group, these switch names must match the calls being transmitted from the game engine. Now that we have a switch group configured, we need to set up how it will be used to choose the appropriate footstep sound during gameplay. This is achieved using a switch container. Switch containers are created back in the actor mixer hierarchy found within the audio tab. The sounds you want to choose between need to be set up as children of a switch container. So we'll select the foot switch random containers, concrete and gravel, right click, choose new parent, switch container, and we'll name this container footsteps. You need to now associate the footsteps switch container with the switch group you created earlier. With the footstep switch container selected, look in the Property Editor under the General Settings tab, and you'll see a Switch Group Selection button. Click it, choose Switch Groups, and select the material switch group you created earlier. Just below, you can also set a default value for the switch, so in the event the game does not communicate the surface that the player is on, Wise will know which switch should be assumed. In this case, We'll choose Concrete. Now, in the Footsteps Contents Editor, you'll see that on the left side you have the random containers that have our sounds, and on the right side you have the switches you created earlier in the switch group. All you need to do now is associate which sounds go with which switch. This is a simple drag and drop process. In this case, we'll take the concrete random container and drag it to the concrete switch, and we'll take the gravel and place it on the gravel switch. And notice that we don't yet have a sound for dirt. That's okay, because you can drag a sound to multiple switches to serve as a stand-in in the event you end up not creating a unique sound for that particular material. In this case, we'll use the gravel sound for dirt. Our switch container is ready to go. We just need to connect this switch container to the footstep event that has already been created in this project and then test it out. In the event viewer, choose the foot player event and then drag the footsteps switch container to the first place in the event editor. Click on the foot player event again so that the transport control has the focus. 
and click play. We hear the sound of the footsteps on concrete. This confirms that the player footstep event is connected to the footsteps switch container, but you'll still need to test the switching mechanism. We can see in the transport that there's a switches button. With this selected, to the right we'll see any switch groups that relate to this particular object. And then we'll see a pull down menu of any of the switches related to that switch group. Now let's switch to gravel. By pressing play, we hear the gravel footsteps. Now let's try dirt. If you remember, we actually set the gravel random container to the dirt switch. Since we continue to hear the gravel sounds, this means that this switch is working properly. 